the store was closing. I sent most of them to Amazon, but there was a few that were restricted. So I put them on eBay and they sold, these sold within 24 hours, all of them. Well, not all of them, there's only three that I couldn't. But, um, so I paid $2, between one and $2. So just these three paid for half the entire haul. So for the haul at Orchard Supply, I paid $187 for everything. So just these three sales totaled almost $100. And there's 42 items that are so um, the Amazon shipment is still pending those 42 items waiting to get there um, and the payout for Amazon if everything sold at this price which I am the lowest on everything would be two so I spent 187 my projected sales will be 2279 so that was a really good haul but you know, it doesn't happen all the time. The store was closing. All right, guys, got my list of what needs to be shipped today. So I pulled everything. I'm just going to get it in order and knock it out quick. Hi, Frankie. Frankie's helping us work. Okay, guys, here's an example of a auction fail. It happens sometimes. I listed this Boston proper, really cute top, and it only sold for $5.99. Now, she's obviously still gonna get it nice and packaged with my thank you card, and I'm gonna make sure that I reach out to her, um, thank her for the sale, and try. And this is where I'm really gonna try to gain a customer instead of make a sale and let her know that I thanked her for her business and just try to have a great customer interaction. So I try to turn it into a Every sale is a possible customer interaction. Well, every sale is a customer interaction, whether you reach out to the customer or not based on the quality of the item they get, the customer service you provide, how you packaged it. And one more thing on this, like, don't have an emotional attachment to your inventory. If you throw it on auction and it didn't go as planned, you know, just finish the sale, be done with it, try to gain a customer. Don't be emotionally. And the reason I bring that up is because I've had um, people reply to my Insta story saying that they price things high and they just can't find a way to go lower. And so the inventory just sits there. And again, of course, $5.99 is not great. This is an exception. This is not the rule. And also, yes, there's going to be times where there's that higher end inventory. You are going to hold on to that for longer. And here's an example of an auction gone good. This Eliza J, it's not high end. It is sold at Nordstrom. I had it on buy it now. Nobody wanted it. And it ended up selling for... So yes, I wish they could always go up a lot in value, but it evens out. That's why I don't trip on the small little fails, because you just got to keep posting and selling. Here's another auction one. It was the very next one. This free people dress sold for 47 plus shipping. Nobody wanted it. Don't buy it now. where every day I barely make the post office. I don't learn. I hacked Monica's account, guys. Tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I started out from the very bottom. Uh, 11 years ago, my last job, I worked at a skate shop. Go back before then. Before then, um, I had a kid, got married, and dropped out of high school when I was 15. I'm still happily married, and my daughter is 16, and now I have another daughter who's four. 11 years ago, I started messing around with Amazon and selling books online, and soon enough, um, Amazon FBA came out, and I jumped on that platform the first year that it came out. So, at this time, people were still scared to send stuff to FBA because of the fees. Meanwhile, I was sending every single book that I could pick up to FBA. Worthless books were selling for $10, anything. It was easy pickings. 
but I learned a lot of stuff the hard way um, coming up in the game and eventually I started making a little bit better money I taught some friends of mine how to hustle some of them are still making a living off of it these are guys from high school one of which I ended up partnering with and that is my main homie Scott Gall um, best friend slash business partner for like the last six years he's amazing human basic story is we're just two kids raised on food stamps and welfare and we came from the gutter and we built a motherfucking empire thanks to this internet shit in 2015 we did 665,000 in used books alone. And in 2016, we didn't hit the milli like we wanted to. The game got a little bit more competitive and we learned a lot of shit. But we did do 833,000 for a two-person company with two and a half full-time employees. Not bad. The message that I want to tell you is that the opportunity with Amazon is very real. I almost dropped my phone. I got two phones. One for the plugin and one for the social media because I just do it so much that my phone's actually hot and it's actually on fire. Don't be worried about what kind of things you're restricted to sell in. Just find the ones that you can sell. Focus on those. Maybe get involved with wholesale. Do private label. Online arbitrage. There's things you can learn. Holler at me. Join my Facebook group. I'll teach you for free. I know what you're saying. Facebook? Facebook's so old, but no. The Facebook groups are the hidden gem of Facebook. Get in there, especially my group. It's 8,000 members deep, but there's at least 500 to 1,000 solid motherfuckers in there, so get in there. Anyways, if you guys ever need anything, just hit me up. It's at Reezy Resells everywhere, and do me a favor. Don't tell Monica that I hacked her account. I don't want her to know. Like, She'll probably unfollow me. I almost forgot guys, I want to give you one or two tips of really good actionable advice to get started on Amazon. Sign up for an Amazon account. Second, download the Amazon seller app. Third, start shopping your house, scanning stuff in your house to see what you can sell and what it's worth, what you're restricted on and what you're not restricted on. If you want to sell books, the key to the game with books is using the right app. The app you should use is FBA Scan and you have to get the database mode because the results come back five times faster than cell phone signal. The thing you're really going to need is the Bluetooth scanner. It's the major key, I'm telling you. The one that I use is the Comtac KDC200i. Um, you're not going to find it for any cheaper than 50 bucks and I have them. I'll drop a link on my Insta like tomorrow. Turn notifications selling books and you don't have the Bluetooth scanner or the database mode, you're not in the game. I don't even consider you competition. So this is FBA scan right here. Boom. That's the app that you need. And this is what it looks like. Um, I haven't scanned anything yet, but it will fill in the data right here. And from that data, you can tell if you can make money to sell it online. Very useful piece of kit. And no, I do not like pickups because they come at their time. I'm not, not always ready and I have way too much shit. Now I gotta rush home and try to get this Amazon shipment before UPS closes at 6.30. So I just dropped off my niece and I gotta get back to this and her.